And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, not too bad of a day today. We had some high level Sears clouds, filtered sunshine at times, other hours during the day. We had mostly sunny skies. Now, it will be changing as we turn the page to the new work week. Tracking some rainfall. It's not just one round. We got a lot of rounds. So enjoy the rest of the afternoon before it gets cooler and quite gloomy for the week ahead. It's 54 degrees right now outside. Light winds, even a light breeze, I should say, out of the southeast at 16 miles per hour. Our sunset this evening is just before 8 o'clock, 7.53 p.m. Still holding on into the 50s and near 60 degree temperatures. Even lower 60s still in Shano, 59 in Wapak, 55 in Watoma. But by the lake shore, that lake breeze that went out of the southeast, keeping lakeside areas in the 40s and even 39 degrees in Kiwani. So quite a drastic change in temperatures just moving in uh, inland about 20 miles or so. There's the wind flow coming in out of the southeast and those winds will start to pick up by the day tomorrow as that system starts to move in here. The cloud cover already building in from the west. You see some rain showers down over southwest Wisconsin, even just western parts of the state. There's even going to be some accumulating snowfall up in northeast Minnesota and even parts of northern Wisconsin from the storm system. Some heavy snow right now over North Dakota. So there is some cold air in place. And remember how temperatures tend to cool down as we get into the overnight period? Well, parts of us, especially the Northwoods, could wake up tomorrow with a light dusting of snowfall. You see here at 9 o'clock in the morning, pretty much areas around Anago, Mountain and northward way up towards the shorelines of Lake Superior. The rest of us will be dealing with rainfall on and off showers and could be coming down at a pretty good clip at times. It looks like this will lift out of the area by late tomorrow night. Then we get a break in the action starting the day on Tuesday, but later Tuesday evening, we got another round of rainfall that will move in here. You see that on Skycast later on towards the afternoon and evening. Light scattered showers, but it's going to start to build up as we get towards later to Tuesday night into Wednesday. So for the first round of rainfall, we're thinking about a quarter of an inch to near half inch. So it's going to be coming down at a pretty good clip. Most of the rain will be holding off into the overnight period into tomorrow morning. In terms of accumulating snowfall, as you can see, most of us were missing out on it. But up to the north woods, that's where you have the best chance of seeing some of that light accumulation. And then temperatures tomorrow will be warming up into the 40s. So that should melt off anything that does accumulate on the grassy and elevated surfaces. 35 for an overnight low temperature. Winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Most of us will have the rain, but farther north you go, could see that wintry mix. Then going into the lower 40s tomorrow, which keep in mind is well below the average for this time of year. Average highs, they should be near the 60 degree mark. <laughs> We're not going to be seeing that at least for the first start of the work week. We do get back up to near 50 degrees on Thursday into the mid 50s on Friday, and then close to 60 degrees by the end of the weekend. But the, really, the big story here is the chance after chance of rainfall. And I mean, it's just like uh, railroad tracks one after another. So we'll have to monitor that, see if that causes any issues with the ongoing flooding situation. Yeah, a whole lot of water, not what some areas want to see. Not at all, but I'm sure the mosquitoes don't like it. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Gino.